What's going on everyone? In my previous video, I explained how cryptocurrency can help set up the new gaming economy for gamers, for streamers, and for studios. In this video, I will explain why online gaming itself will be adoptable on the blockchain. So take a look at this. Xbox Live pummeled by DDoS attack. Hacker group claims responsibility. So this is the Phantom Squad. We all know about the Lizard Squad. But the Phantom Squad took down the PlayStation Network and Xbox Live. Companies that have had millions of dollars and don't bother on working on security, according to the Phantom Squad. And they've, they have they were claiming to, for taking down the Xbox Live. Uh, PS PlayStation Network has also been taken down in the past. And take a look at this, how Lizard Squad ruined Christmas. The cyber assaults disabling Sony, PlayStation, and Microsoft Xbox's game consoles may have been done by hackers for laughs, but is something more sinister going on? Now, from our perspective, the question, of course, is, is Xbox Live and PlayStation Network, are these kind of platforms for online video gaming uh, becoming more and more obsolete? And can there be a solution on the blockchain? And uh, this is obviously happening even more recently. The PlayStation Network status was confirmed down for PlayStation for Fortnite gamers just as recently as June 22nd, 2018. So this is a systemic issue of having a centralized servers running online games. So of, and the other issue, of course, is lagging. Lagging can make or break your gameplay. Of course, you, you know, every avid gamer will tell you there's nothing more frustrating than when your phone lags in the middle of a game, causing you to mess up or die. This is on, true for online games as well, where you're about to set up a, sh a sniper shot on your opponent, and then the game lags, and next thing you know, he was able to avoid the shot, and you end up dead. So, there's two types of online games multiplayer online games the first one is multiplayer online battle arena so the multiplayer online battle arena also known as ARTS or action real-time strategy is a relatively new game genre popularized popularized in the first decade of the 21st century a key example of this is League of Legends so in this format you play in basically one field right one given arena and a virtual arena and in that arena you have many players that are like two teams as an example and they're coming in and they're playing against each other trying to take each other's flag like a capture the flag kind of game or some or something like that destroy each other's base kind of game and it's kind of like one field one arena and you're playing on it that's multiplayer online battle arena as opposed to and massive multiplayer online role playing games. These have been more famous recently. An example of this, of course, is Fortnite, uh, Player Unknown Battlegrounds. And these games are more, you know, uh, role playing, meaning the player gets to kind of go out there on their own and kind of set their own, uh, you know, agenda, what they want to do. But at the same time, you're playing against many, many other online players. And the MMORPG is, as the name suggests, a role playing game with hundreds, thousands, or even hundreds of thousands of players all connected through the internet. And the key is they're connected to like a single server in, the, in terms of the game that they're playing. So you have all of these players connected on one server that can create a bundle that can create an opening for lag. And another ex reason why cryptocurrency in terms of the video game delivery and video game servers can be decentralized so what is an example of a project that's doing that play key is an example of a project that is decentralizing the gaming network by using cloud computing so it describes the first decentralized cloud gaming platform that is profitable for everyone smart solution for cryptocurrency fans Convenient platform for miners to rent out their hardware. Easy way to play on demand on the powerful gaming rigs for gamers. And it, they explain what they're about over here. You have some news. But what is the decentralized platform? So they explain it, how it works. So G G GTA 5 with no lags on play key. And you can watch these videos, they explain how they do it. And they explain how cloud gaming is the future. So 2.2 billion gamers in the world, 109 billion are gaming industry volume, but 
81% of gamers can't play new PC games based on stream statistics of users' hardware comparing with Dishonored 2 requirements. So they have the solution. So gamers launch small play key application, PC transmits commands to play key cloud server, game launch on NVIDIA powered with GPU server, game is streamed in full HD and 60 FPS to the PC or Mac. And you can follow them in more detail. Now, of course, Playkey is just one project, right? They are specific, kind of specific, specifying a bit of a niche when they're talking about just decentralizing cloud computing in terms of gaming. But if you're talking about a more general decentralized cloud computing platform that could be a platform for gaming as well, you have projects like Golem that are going into that in even more detail uh, and covering more bases on that front. Moving on, though, there is something else. Mobile Go. So there's a new genre of sports coming out called eSports. And eSports just mean professional online gaming. And, and gamers that are actually professional gamers challenging each other, trying to win championships and things of that nature. And they're professionals, so they get paid to do so. So Mobile Go is a project that's taking to look away a look to get advantage of that. And this goes to one a project that I mentioned on my previous video called Game Credits. So Mobile Go, a dedicated token to bring esports to everyone. The second gaming revolution is coming. Broadband internet revolution gaming. Single player got boring. Multiplayer became the way to play. Blockchain will usher in the next gaming revolution by bringing competitive esports to everyone. And it's happening right now with Mobile Go. Or smart token that can facilitate peer-to-peer -peer match play and decentralized tournaments for millions of competitive gamers worldwide. So you can see the use case here. Take Fortnite for example, instead of everyone on one server, you can decentralize a little bit of that process. And then they go they explain the process here, which you guys can see on the game credits mobile go section. Uh, they describe the process, receive mobile go tokens, funds spend on account users, users play games, users play in games. It pay in games with game credits. So that's esports as an example. They describe how it's growing, but it's still only a tiny fraction, and they want to be positioning themselves to take advantage when it goes uh, fully adopted worldwide. So that's Mobile Go as an example, uh, just to give you guys uh, token metrics and uh, where you can get it. Uh, almost 20 million market cap. 98 supply, 100 million total supply, so almost all the circulating supply is, is out and matches the total supply. You got Cryptos, Liqui, uh, Waves, Cryptopia. Uh, and other uh, just to go back real quickly and take a look, give you guys a, for play key, just to give you guys the token metrics in the market. So you have 39 cents, almost 40 cents a pop, 5 million on the market cap, 13.6 uh, million circulating supply, 19.8 million total supply. And you can pick this up on HitBTC and Mercatox. Um, so now let's go to the meat of this, right? The most exciting part of this is actual, actual games on the blockchain. And an example of this is World of Ether. So World of Ether is a game built on the Ethereum platform and it's very, very uh, it, it's copying some of the stuff from older games, but it's amazing because take a look at this. You can get an early egg sale. So just the way our token sales work, a lot of these decentralized gaming applications that are on the blockchain have early sales for in-game items or, you know, in the, the ha ha um, hallmark items like eggs that in World of Ether. So you collect these eggs, they become these... Um, they they essentially hatch and then you they become monsters. You could get a rare monster if you buy more eggs. So it's really uh, interesting concept like that. You can breed these monsters to discover new monsters. So in battle, of course, with other players to so level up and increase your chance to breed rare monsters. And this entire game is built on the Ethereum network. So this is a perfect example of a decentralized game built on the Ethereum network. Um, there's going to be no Xbox Live. There's no PlayStation Network. This is going to be the content delivery, the streaming, the uh, the the gaming itself, the players in the game. Everything is done online. But this is an example of World of Ether. Now, it's not a fully MMORPG, but it's an initial example. Again, we're still in the initial stage of this entire process. But if you want to get start moving towards the next stage, BitGuild has a platform for that. So 
here there are a couple of games here ether online and magic academy so these are two games that are built uh you but by bitguild on the the network and it's, they have more coming on the way as some as these games start to get more and more complex in development and it's that's just another example of games that are being built on the blockchain and another example is world of crypto by engine coin so epic blockchain game powered by engine coin massive blockchain based 3d powered with engine coin and coming this year in 2018 or war of crypto i should say war of crypto so a multiplayer epic fantasy game powered by engine coin so a brilliant story gorgeous 3d graphics marvelous game mechanics and blockchain based gaming assets created with engine coin it's a player versus player multiplayer game that features unique evolvable tradable heroes set in an incredible detailed epic fantasy world faces a relentless imminent doom so that's world a uh, uh, war of crypto for you guys and uh, powered by the engine coin so engine coin looking to position himself to get one of the top blockchain based games out there and now let's get to another aspect of this which is betting because as with any sports game or sports concept there's always going to be betting so as we if we get professional esports out there people are going to want to bet on gamers hey i like i think this gamer is going to win etc so unicoin gold bark backed by mark cuban is positioning itself to be in that process sitting at 10.6 million market cap 141 circulating supply 1 billion total supply you can pick it up on crypto bitrex a bit okay x cool coin and what is Unicoin Gold exactly? So how Unicoin Gold uses blockchain and cryptocurrency for esports betting. So this article right here explains how that explains how Mark Cuban got into the process, and it explains through the how the esports industry and how really uh, while gambling in general would be illegal in that context, there's a token called es um There's a token here called uh, Unicoin Silver that will allow uh you to do that if you're a u.s citizen and it goes through the entire process here for you guys if you want to look into more detail but that's an example for you here's a here's a look at the unicoin gold um your the unicoin platform uh so it's really interesting you can see all the top games here league of legends counter-strike global offensive overwatch uh you have fortnite player unknown battlegrounds so you have all the top games here you have some others street fighter 5 nba 2k so you have a lot of the main game, uh, you know, top, you know, online games right now, whether they're MMORPGs, uh, or you know, ex or you know, League of Legends, which is a, a, a you know, is an a, this one right here, and M, M O B A, massive multiplayer online battle arena. So those are the two. The, so the, these concepts and these games, the M M O B A and M M O R P G, are the two formats that are likely to be in in esports meaning if there was like two you know like there's different sports right basketball baseball etc well the two different forms of esports would be moba or mmorpg and a coin like unicoin or unicoin gold is positioning itself to really take advantage of that and be the first esports betting platform you can see they already have like a, a platform for this this is not something that's just theoretical they actually have this uh you uh, you know choose your team choose you know sign in etc um and get going so it's not a bad way to do this um you can earn unicorn silver just just by engaging so there's many things you can do so that's you know why a uh, blockchain is going to be adopted by online gamers because this this esports is a growing industry definitely is um you know a lot gamers are as you know it, they would love to get the opportunity to get to actually not just you know have you know be the number one on a scoreboard on a on so, on you know some random on game but actually you know become professionals and make money off of this and that would really be amazing so thank you guys for watching this video you guys can follow us on our, or look at our website where we have podcasts, news, and updates where we really put out the latest news as quickly as possible. Uh, we have our Twitter account at AllCoinBuzz.io. We also have AllCoinBuzz Ladies. And finally, last but not least, of course, please like and subscribe to our channel.
if you would and like this video of course so thank you very much guys and yep have a great day